He was last year with John Wooden and Bill Walton. And you were just telling me a story. that you Walton, when he was in kind of exile, yes. when he was not in favor, right. because he was all the stuff he was going through in his head, uh, he'd call you up. Yeah, we should talk all the time. Yeah, I, and, I I really like him. Yeah, and he looked up to you because he was a you were his hero. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he's a really bright, caring young man. Yeah, you know, and uh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you no, know, he just uh, he has an enormous social conscience, which yeah, is sure probably does. as large as his uh, basketball yeah. ability. Really? Yes. A sense of concern about the planet and the country and yes. the community he lives yes. in. Yes, and. Uh, and the community live in lives in is the planet. Yeah, you understand me. Yeah. So that so that uh, uh, he has a, a, a sense of self and a, a, a sense of uh, caring about where he lives. Yeah, and uh, a, a, a word that's not used very much uh, nowadays: uh, a sense of fairness. Yeah. So do you. Now yeah. listen to this. This book is dedicated to guess who. My friend Wilt, my daughter Karen, my father, and my best friend Marilyn Nault. Um, Wilt, you're dedicating a book to him. Yes. You know, uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, we were uh, professionally, we're bound together through eternity. Yeah. You know, uh, this great uh, competition that we had. Made each of you better. Yes. And, uh, and made people know how good both of us were. Yeah. You understand me? I do. And uh, and there, there's a a thing about tall guys. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> now, let me. What? What's your definition of a tall guy? Six, eight, or over. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and like most of us, we became tall at a young age. Yeah. And people talk to you different when you're tall. It, like uh, the story I heard about Shaquille O'Neal, he was in, you know, his father was a, a sergeant major. Right. And he was over in Europe and uh, at a basketball game. And uh, the coach at Louisiana State was there. And he starts talking to him and uh, asked him, uh, you know, does he play and everything? He said, yeah. And he says, do you play on these? He said, oh, no, I'm only 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that, and and, uh, and so, but the conversations between young men that are, are especially tall, from the time they're eleven to twelve, people talk to them different, yeah. and so they have a different view of the world, you know. But and, what's the view they have? I mean, I realize it's different because they are treated differently. Well, first of all, they found out that uh, a majority of the adults they talk to are dishonest. <laughs> so, I mean, how's that different from everybody else? Well, uh, but you, most of the people get it when they're 18 or 19. I see. They get it earlier because they, they're taller. Early. Yes. No, and, no, no. They, you know, and, and, uh, and that people are devious. Hmm. And so then, so when you grow up, you always look at people, what's their agenda? Right. Listen to this. This is from Bill Bradley, forward to this book. Of all the players who ever played the game of basketball, Bill Russell is the first player that I would pick to start a team. Well, I, in immodesty speaking, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, uh, we don't care about modesty uh, around here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems to be a, a consensus. It, it does. Well, why is that? What is it Bill Russell, in modesty speaking, brought to the court? That is a consensus. You start with Russ. Well, um, after I heard that the first time, I thought, uh, uh, first, my first reaction to that was to start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. And, uh, Believing and, it, but laughing. Uh, and saying, now, if this is the case, why? What did I do that would be the, the, the foundation of a, of a good team? And... I think that I had the best overall game. And so that I could do, for example, um, you may have seen that special uh, on um, uh, 
HBO. Right. And one of the things I said to About my, you. Yes. Right. I I, one of the things I said before the last game was that uh, we're going to beat the Lakers tonight. And, and the way we're going to beat them is we're going to run. Right. And that was just an indication of we, we could play, the teams I played on could play any style. And we were proficient at any style. Mm -hmm. We could run with the best of them, or we could play half-court uh, offense and defense with the best of them, and we could blend it, uh, and and we could uh, we could target areas of the other team's game. Mm -hmm. in, in other words, uh, like if we play in a, a certain team, and we and we see their strength and weaknesses. We had a system that we could target their weaknesses, mm. and so that uh, we could beat teams because we knew how to play them. Okay, but you're saying that there were two things here: you could execute, but you also were smarter. So you were smarter than most of the people playing. I don't mean you individually, but I, maybe I do mean you individually. You understood that. Well, um, and, but you then, know, and also you, know, you could execute it too. Well, that's this cliche I made up. Uh, it is far more important to understand than to be understood. <laughs> Said that yeah, and so that uh, so we go out there and you say, what do you do? This is a team game. We play basketball, and we want to play to win. You see, professional athletes are paid to win. They're not paid to play. And a lot of guys think that they're paid to play. But they are paid to win. And if you win, then everything comes to you. Let me ask you this. How does Bill want to remember Bill? Well, um, very early in my career, uh, I found that winning in a team concept is the only important thing. Because uh, if I go out one night and I get 30 points and 35 rebounds yeah. and we lose, that's... It's a downer. Yeah. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.